welcome children to today's session of chapter number 13 that is why do we fall ill so today is our second session in our previous session we just started the chapter with a basic introduction and in previous session we started chapter with introduction with reference to the current covid scenario and we also learned about the cell and its dynamic state we also discussed about the requirement of food for and energy for the cells to function properly in today's session we will again proceed and start discussing about some of the important aspects of health so here in today's session we will focus mainly on the significance of health why we want to become healthy what should we do to maintain our health why our health is so important that we are resisting ourselves at home we are compromising with our profession we are not going out we are compromising with our various requirements so why this health is so important for us you have heard the word health in various ways like how is your health health policy take care of your health my health is not good nowadays etc so these are some common notions which you might have heard so what does the word health means can you justify this word health what is health to get the answer of this question we need to focus more on our well being with some examples if we think about it we realize that it always implies the idea of well being we can think of this well being as a effective functioning of body this can be very well understood with a example which i have given here in this slide you can see a old dadi ma is there grand grandmother is there she is old but she is doing her work properly she is going out in market to buy some groceries and uh, to buy some other things she uh, she can also visit to neighbors so in this condition you can say yes dadi ma is perfectly all right she is not uh, 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 sick and if you imagine about the opposite of this condition that is not being able to do all such activities a old aged lady who is not able to go out who is not able to visit to neighbors because of some physical ailment so that is one example when a person is able to actively perform its function its work we say that the person is healthy and just opposite to this if a person is not able to walk properly not able to fulfill his basic his or her basic needs in that condition we say that the person is sick person is not keeping well so here is one more example it is related to you children only that is being interested in the online teaching at your home in this covid situation so that you can understand everything at home is called a healthy attitude of students towards studies whereas the opposite condition of this when someone is not at all interested in online classes is something abnormal we will say that the person is not taking interest in studies means that is not normal so how we can define health definition of health according to your textbook is health is a state of being well enough to function well physically mentally and socially and according to who there is a scientific definition which is given and this definition says health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity means we will not say 
that if a person is not having any disease is healthy because health include your mental aspect and social aspect also so this clearly tells you that there are so many aspects which are related to health so generally it is seen that there are uh, some main aspect and some sub aspects so here in this slide i have shown you five main aspects of personal health that is physical emotional social spiritual and intellectual health here in today's session i will focus on some of these aspect so let us first of all discuss with a physical aspect here in this slide you can see a healthy person showing his muscles six packs etc means what by looking at that person's picture you can say that the person is physically fit so he is energetic and has a good posture weighs normal for age and height has all body organs functioning normally has bright eyes has good textured and shining hair gets sound sleep has a good appetite and has a clean breath a person is physically healthy if he or she looks alert and responsive so this is something which is included in the physical health just by looking at that person physique you can say that yes the person is physically fit so now let us discuss about the mental health nowadays actually this health is more important because now everyone suffers with extreme stress anxiety etc so mental health is not mere absence of mental illness a mentally healthy person is one who is free from internal conflicts the person should have control on emotions sensitive to the needs of others confidence in one's own abilities a person is mentally healthy if he or she is relaxed and free from all worries suppose a person is physically fit but mentally the person is suffering with so much of stress he gets annoyed very quickly he overreact to the situation in that condition will you say that the person is fit mentally or his mental health or overall health is good no because mental health is also equally important so mental health is a very important aspect of overall health now let us move to the next aspect of health that is social well being we all know that human being is we are social animals we cannot live all alone so when we have to survive with so many people there should be some social behavior also it implies harmony and integration within the individual between each individual and other members of the society and between individuals and the world in which they live not only your family not only your classmates in your classroom not only your school friends but your behavior with your entire society should be good the person should have pleasant manners the person should fulfills responsibility towards others should be ready to help others gets along with all the people all around him a person is socially healthy if he or she can move in the society confidently with others that person will be called as socially fit person if suppose a person is healthy enough and is not having any mental Ill illness also he is confident he is without stress he has a very good behavior but when all of a sudden a crowd comes in front of him he is not able to express himself or he is not able to coordinate with others 
that time we will say that the person is not well because his social behavior is not good so your health include overall all these three aspect that is physical mental and social well being these are the three main aspects of your health there are some sub aspects also which are also important and the most important one is spiritual aspect every day in morning you do prayers in school no at home home also you must be doing prayers during your various festivities we perform prayers so a person is said to be spiritually healthy when he possesses sound mind in a sound body now comes to next type of health that is emotional health a person is said to be emotionally healthy when he does not lose temper or does not develop tension and should have self control so that is also one of the important aspect of health now the third one that is vocational where a person is capable of earning sufficiently to lead the life successfully that is called as vocational health or the health which is supporting the person to bear the expenses of his life and the various family people who are living with that person there are some other factors which affect health disease is one of the factor main factor deficiency of any nutrient is also one of the main factor but there are various other factors which are related to good health these are personal basic hygiene exercise rest and sleep maintaining proper posture clean home environment influence of smoking alcohol and drugs climate and clothing safety measures at play and work and our eating habits which are very very important so these are some basic things which need to be noticed to maintain good health children now there are some questions for you the first question is what is the definition of health here i expect the definition which is given in your textbook not the who one what do you mean by mental health and the last question is what is social well being of a person give an example of social well being i hope you all will be able to write the answer correctly